father's memories in this shop of yours. Do you know this shop? Oh, I've been coming here for years, yeah. Only it wasn't a clothes shop then. It was a restaurant. <laughs> not a not a posh restaurant, but it was somewhere to be seen. Italian, what was it called? Torino's. That's that was it, Torino's. Full of gangsters and celebrities it was. And this is where you used to eat? Yes. Just yeah. Really? Of course, really. You're making it all up. <laughs> yes, I sit Just here, where you write this diary of yours, Ducky. This was my spot. Right, okay. On, Just here. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the window. <laughs> I used to sit here for hours just watching the trade mints by. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is where um, I met Charlie. Charlie? Charlie. He was a writer too. He used to write for hours with Charlie, all about art. All those pop artists, you know. I used to say to him, if you can't hang it on the wall, dear, I'm not interested. <laughs> but he was very, uh, very creative, was my Charlie. Really? In, in what area? In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he do? Oh. What did you do? I'm not telling you that, you filthy ho no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, uh, he liked all that dressing up business. You know, dressing up. Oh, but uh, I can't be <coughs> doing with thinking about all that messy business. Not at my age, that's what did the back in. <laughs> so how long ago was, was this? Oh, long time ago. Of course, I was quite the dish back then, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Foundation on the visage, all very, <laughs> all very dolly. Uh, June it was, June the 18th, 1964. Remember, he, he came in, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and that was it. I just knew. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, I think I do. He asked if he could uh, share my table, and then he just sat down, and I thought, Bloody cheek. <laughs> <laughs> but that was it, it was as quick as that, you know. Best five years I've ever had in my life. Sounds naff, doesn't it? But it was. Didn't realise I'd never have that again. Well, you don't do you? I mean, it didn't even cross my mind. We were having so much fun. But you know, all that time he was seeing women. <laughs> Really, I mean, really seeing them, you know, sleeping with them. Yeah, I just turned the blind eye. <clears throat> because, you see, I knew that what we had, he couldn't get it from them. So I, I just let it go. I suppose I thought, well, if I ask him to choose, suppose he chooses the easier life. So I just put up with it. I suppose that seems weak to you, doesn't it? No, I can, I can relate to that. And then one day I received a letter to say that he just got married and I never saw him again. Changed jobs, flats, everything. So you've been coming back here for 40 years? Of course, I haven't been coming back here for 40 years. What do you think I am, a nun on a pilgrimage? <laughs> <laughs> avoiding this street for years, dear. Years I've been avoiding this street. And just about the so ago, I was trolling along, and I saw you there tapping away in the window. It brought it all back. How we met, where we used to sit. You OK? Oh, you devious little witch! <laughs> Dragging the story out of me like that! <laughs> Taking advantage of a kind hearted old queen! <laughs> You'd be pinching off me too, given half the chance, wouldn't you? I didn't do it. Now listen, if this goes in this space diary of yours, I, I want a name change. You know, something exotic. Yeah. Are you going now? Of course I'm going. What do you think I'm doing? Warming up for a yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Yes, you probably will, Ducky. I'm sure you probably will.